Today we're going to learn Python. How fun is that? Joining me uh, right now, and I actually really wanted to get uh, Craig on, is uh, Craig Richardson. He's the author of Learn to Program with Minecraft, Transform Your World with the Power of Python. Craig, thanks for joining us today on Triangulation. Hey, thanks for having us on. I leapt on this book as soon as I saw it. I'm a big fan of your publisher, the No Starch Press, and I bought it immediately because I, I love the idea. First of all, I love Minecraft, and but more importantly, so do kids. Python is in a superb uh, beginner uh, language, learning language, uh, for a number of reasons, which we'll get to. But also uh, the idea of combining the two, woo woo, how exciting. Um, if you have a Raspberry Pi, this is, this is something you can just do right out of the box, right? Yep, yep. Comes uh, uh, Python, uh, the API for Minecraft, comes pre-installed on all Raspberry Pis at the minute. And, micro uh, <laughs> and Microsoft very kindly has allowed them to also install a special version of Minecraft on your Raspberry Pi. So uh, you boot up into Raspbian and uh, you already got a Minecraft server you can run locally or uh, online. I think, I feel like... Parents, watch this show closely because if you have a, a kid anywhere from maybe 10 to 15, of course, they already know Minecraft. They may play it obsessively, uh, and they're probably begging you, please, can I have a computer in my room? Here's what you do. You go out, you buy a $35 Raspberry Pi. You take an old mouse and keyboard, some old TV lying around, as long as it has an HDMI interface, and you say, sure, kid, here. You put that in the room, you get them playing Minecraft, and then... This book shows up somewhere, you know, the Easter bunny hides it under a pillow or something and they go, oh, what's this? And pretty, pretty soon you got a uh, young Bill Gates in your, <laughs> in your house. So Craig, tell me a little bit about your background. Are, are, are you an educator? Is that, is that where you came from? Um, well, actually, I'm a software developer at the minute. Uh, a few years back, I was a computing teacher working in East London. Uh, so I taught uh, compute the kids back then. Uh, since then, I've uh, run workshops to teach programming to several hundred people. Um, I've also briefly worked for the Raspberry Pi Foundation. And, of course, uh, most recently, I've released the book, Learn to Program with Minecraft. It's just, a, it's just a wonderful book. Lots of colorful illustrations. And the reason I like it, it, it I feel like both kids, my Python and Minecraft uh, should be in kids' uh, vocabulary, right? I mean, uh, tell me why Python. So, um, Python, um, I, well, actually going back a bit, I learned Java at university. I'm so sorry. And yes. uh, it was actually, I really like the Java language. Well, the um, truth is Java is often taught, in fact, you know, in our local high yeah, school, yeah. Uh, much as, uh, as I fought it, uh, they, 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 they introduced a, a programming class and they taught Java. Yeah. And the reason is it's very, very widely used professionally. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's just very difficult for uh, people when it's their first programming language to pick up what's going on. Um, it requires you to ignore a lot of what's happening. For example, if you start, you've got to um, ignore that it's an object-oriented language because it's quite complex to uh, explain that to a complete beginner who doesn't even necessarily understand what variables are. Uh, so jumping to Python, it's um, a very easy language to teach because you only really didn't need to know what you're using at that particular point in time. Right. So it, with, for example, um, I think the first Python programming in the book is about five or six lines long, and that does quite a lot. It will teleport the uh, player in the Minecraft world to a totally different position. So Python is very easy to pick up because it's uh, so simple and it's also very expressive. It has, like Java, the advantage of being uh, available on all platforms, completely free yep. to install. Uh, unlike Python, it comes with a, uh, an IDE, and programmers will recognize that term, uh, yep. a, a, an, interfa an editor and an interface for programming. But uh, one of the virtues of Python is it has a, a REPL, a real-time interpreter, that allows you to enter a line of Python hit return and see what it does. This is one of the reasons I think so many yeah, yeah. people in my generation started programming with BASIC. Same things, you, you know, it came with most computers. You could type in a line, see what it did. Uh, you could write a program on, you know, on the screen and run it and you know, you know, 10, print hello, go to 10, and, uh, and immediately get a result. But how much better if you could tie it into something that kids are already uh, in love with, which is, for many kids, 
my kid for sure, Minecraft. All my kids, frankly, yeah. for sure, Minecraft. Um, and then they can, instead of just go to 10, print hello, do something interesting in a world. Right? Yeah, so uh, just... <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, I, I, I went on a monologue. I apologize. No. I paused now. <laughs> so, so, for example, um, just, just diving in on that, um, for example, I, I use, uh, I've done presentations where I've done live programming in front of uh, audience of children, and using the um, Python uh, command line, you can just type a few lines of code, and it'll just appear there on the screen, and you can interact with the program as... Um, as you're writing it, it's it's really cool. Like a lot of the kids, uh, you do a tiny bit of programming, and the the original like oh, I'm not quite sure what's going on here, and then it reaches a point where the faces just light up, and they're like, what 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 can I do with this? It's kind of their imagination starts going, and they go, it's they just kind of start seeing how easy it is to pick up, and the power of uh, actually mastering it once. Once you've got that, what you can actually do with it. So it's 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 really good for sparking their imaginations. 